What's going on champs and champettes, it's FireMonkey here, playing the best mode ever in Destiny being Gambit, and in today's YouTube video I want to talk about something very, very controversial, or I guess, you know, very scary that's been happening in the land of Destiny recently, which all relates to their servers and even bugs that kind of changed the way everyone's been kind of, you know, treating Bungie as a whole. And keep in mind, this is a game that already has been having some flack recently due to their poor updates or whatever else, you know, their seasons and everything that kind of seem lackluster compared to what we've gotten in the past and how in terms of what we have right now compared to the past it all feels like right now you know Bungie's just kind of like trying to not focus on PvP not trying to focus on other modes or whatever else and focus entirely on the campaign on the story or whatever else because they're trying to finish up you know the final shape DLC and make it so that the game's light and dark saga is officially completed but on top of that we've had some interesting situations happening recently that's kind of just added on to everything and it all starts a few weeks ago when there was an actual glitch in the game where through the Enclave crafting menu, which you could find, you know, through the Witch Queen DLC and everything else, you were able to grab a craftable exotic weapon or, you know, a craftable legendary weapon that had a different frame and mix and match it with an actual exotic or legendary weapon, you know, of a different type so that you could have illegal weapons per se, right? You could go ahead and put, for example, the Osteos perk over on a normal SMG or even like a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, shotgun, anything like that, and you could even put the Osteo's exotic perk on another exotic weapon, assuming you're able to get the combinations off and everything, and you're able to kind of lag the system and switch between the two in a fast enough fashion, and it all led for some very interesting combinations that had people worried if there was going to be rollbacks taking place on their accounts, making it so that, you know, all the progress everyone got, whether they did the glitch or if they didn't, would be completely wiped. It would be ruined, it would be thrown out the window or whatever else, but luckily, you know, Bungie swooped in, they're like, hey, I understand that you guys are scared about this you know I understand that you don't want your progress wiped and I know we're taking a long time to actually fix this whole entire illegal weapon issue especially while you had like trials of Osiris going on so what we are going to do is implement a patch in the future that's going to make it so illegal weapons get reverted back to normal and if you try to craft an illegal weapon going forwards instead of it being something where it's going to you know tell you hey you can't do this or it'll let you through with doing it it will just boot you back to the login screen right it will just boot you all the way out of there as a way to tell you hey I understand that you want to do this crazy method or whatever to get an exotic weapon perk on a legendary weapon to make these illegal weapons, but that's not something that's going to be possible anymore. But they still wanted to make sure that the people who had fun with the glitch and the people who just played the game normally would still keep their progress without them having to do a server-wide rollback or whatever, you know, preventing everyone's progress from still being there and forcing them to probably do like a make good event or something in the game where it's like, hey guys, so we lost some data, oopsie doopsie, because well, there's a little issue that happened in the mainframe, so instead we're going to give you double or triple valor in all of the main modes or whatever else we're going to give you extra whatever as a make good you know a apology gift or whatever else and just kind of doing that type of stuff right they wanted to prevent that as much as possible so all they did was kind of go through and you know wipe the illegal weapons now that was an interesting time in destiny you know a few weeks ago when that happened because on one side of things you had people who were like super excited about having these illegal modified weapons because they didn't have to you know worry about doing some harder missions and they were taking absolute advantage of the glitch right trying to make sure that they could get the easiest completions done possible on so many different type of missions out there I even saw people lasering and just bulldozing through raids in record pace and everything else because of how powerful and over you know like created these weapons were right it was like you were just like crafting together everything imagine if you had a destiny weapon that could have any perk that's ever released in the entire game right you're going to make a perk combination that's going to completely demolish everything and it's just going to turn everything into liquid goop before it even has a chance to say i am the boss or anything like that right but then there were some people on the other side who were saying hey this is unfair because they were trying to play like trials of osiris you know more of a competitive zone and they were having a lot of people in these pvp environments just kind of Wrecking House, you know, ruining their experience as they're trying to be a legit player because there are people who worry that even though Bungie has stated before, if there's a glitch in the game, you can't get banned for it. It's completely on Bungie's fault because it shouldn't have been there to exist with or, you know, begin with or whatever else. They didn't want to potentially get banned for exploiting this whole entire like weapon bug happening in the game. After all that got fixed, however, there was a brand new issue happening in the game that was a lot, lot worse and it all relates to DDoSing apparently. Now, we don't know for sure if it is your 
your normal DDoS or anything else, but if I go ahead and show this video on screen, you may notice something very odd. The person is actually over here shooting barrels, you know, shooting enemies and everything else, and they're not attacking. They'll die and kind of flop on the ground, but no XP or anything's actually being given, and it just kind of exists there, right? It's this very unnatural behavior that's existing in the game, and really shouldn't be happening at all, and that was because after all the bugs had gotten fixed or whatever, it appears that there's some server issues that a lot of people are speculating is the game being DDoSed for like multiple days non-stop that is causing it so you know NPCs weren't reacting a, a trial of Osiris you know actual PvP matches were ending in uh, like do ties or whatever else even if you were winning and everything you know there were so many little oddities happening here and there where it was like you could move around the game still responding to your movements and everything but it was like if you had disconnected your wi like Wi-Fi your Ethernet cord or whatever else because even though you could move everything else around you acted as if time had completely frozen right it was like an anime episode or something where you just kind of like froze everything around you and at first you know it led for some very interesting you know like clips on twitter and everything else like the one you had just seen but as it continued happening it became a more like frequent issue there were people getting error codes that were trying to state that you know they were getting banned from the game or whatever due to illegal modifications even though that wasn't the case and it was just the servers being down there were other people having issues where even without that they we're just getting non-stop error codes back to back to back being like hey there's an issue here we don't know what it is but there's an issue and it has made the game in a super highly unplayable state which is you know kind of similar to another game we've talked about recently known as none other than payday 3 so it felt like a lot of games you know that we all know whether it was a new game or an old game were having these unplayable issues where it was just like the servers were getting completely hammered there's either ddoses going on or people just you know trying to play the game all at once which wouldn't really make sense for destiny at least with right now with how everything's been going because there isn't really too much in terms of new content especially Especially after they patched the whole entire, you know, weapon modification, illegal weapon building strategy or whatever else people were doing. And it just kind of came out of the blue and it was ruining the experience even more. So you had the people who were already complaining in the past about how, oh, you know, the game's having these issues and stuff. I'm unable to play it in the way I want. You know, I'm having these unfair advantages or whatever else getting amplified even more because after having those people who had to deal with unfair advantages because maybe they didn't want to do the weapon, uh, like, you know, illegal crap crafting glitch or whatever else, now they're experiencing a whole nother situation where on top of the illegal crafting issues and everything else, all of a sudden it's like, hey, your game's just unplayable, right? You know, you're unable to play it. Anything you wanted to do is completely not possible. And like, sometimes you'd get lucky. Maybe you could do a mission here and there. But for the most part, it was just something where you listed yourself into the internal void of unknown gaming knowledge. And it really begs the question of what's been happening with Bungie recently, right? Like not even just in terms of things happening here and there with like the servers or whatever else, but in terms of everything, it feels like there's so much hate going on for the game right now not just because of oh you know the whole entire blog post or whatever were lackluster they barely had any content in it but also because at the same time of all these blog posts barely having any content the game itself is having all these issues where you know major game breaking bugs are being discovered the servers are just constantly going down non-stop and everything else and it's kind of puts the game in even more of this like vague state of is this something that you know I want to go on hop on and try playing or is it going to have even more issues because even before this right every single time I've played this game and I've kept up to date with what's happening in the game they'll do a little like maintenances right it'll be like oh this maintenance is going to be a maintenance where you can still play the game only the API will be down or something like that right and they'll have that stuff going on every once in a while and it makes sense you know it's like okay they're working on some API things it makes sense you know that's down with the game itself still playable but it gets worse when you're sitting there trying to play this game and for some reason whatever reason under the blue moon the game is just decided you know what you know how we said that we are only going to have a short maintenance that you would still be able to play for well we've decided to extend the maintenance by an hour and we're taking the whole entire game offline and then the game gets delayed again and again and again to the point where what was once you know a maintenance that you didn't have to worry too much about you know everyone was able to play you know you're able to enjoy easy peasy has now become a massive thing where it's like the game's been down for half the day when it was only promised to not even be down at all and it just leaves a lot of people questioning what is happening 
happening with Bungie, right? And it feels like nothing good is really happening for them recently. There's a lot of stuff to get hyped for, you know, the final shape I'm excited for, but in terms of the actual morale of the game and everything, it feels like everything that could go wrong has been going wrong for months on end now. And I just want to talk with you guys about it, you know, ramble about it for a little bit, and I would love to hear what you guys think about how Bungie's been kind of handling everything and how Destiny 2 currently is right now in its current state while all these bugs, low morale, and issues have been going on. But with that said, my name is Monkey. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys next time with another upload. Peace out.